For Ashley Burnett, her journey began with spoken word poetry, which would later introduce her to the world of activism and advocacy. Thus, the NGO Feminititi was born. Although this 24-year-old activist has dedicated the last eight years to gender equity and the advancement of sexual and reproductive health, she says Feminititi was formed two years ago, but is already making quite an impact. Feminit came out of a need um, for wanting there to be education for people to understand what gender justice was and to really understand the issues that we're facing. Ashley describes some of the issues that the NGO has tackled since its inception. So we work um, in the field of well, two main areas. One is in ending gender-based violence, and that is where we do most of our collaborative work. And so we work in that field, and then we work um, in the field of advancing sexual and reproductive health and rights, specifically looking at period poverty. And so we would have launched the Safe Cycle project uh, back in 2020. According to Ashley, the Safe Cycle project is one of the many accomplishments of Feminine TT to date. We would have distributed 120 period kits, and each of those period kits gave a three month supply um, to have like period products. And the second phase um, dealt with having those people that were recipients we assessed um, like what type of period that they usually have. And we know some people have really awful periods and sometimes that's a tell of a medical condition. And so we would have funded um, them to see a gynecologist. Ashley says, although the NGO has implemented a number of initiatives thus far, it still has a long way to go. We got funding for another project called The Right Way. And this looks at um, looking at the national sexual and reproductive health policy that Trinidad has. So we partnered with the Buenos Aires Village Council and we are developing a toolkit from existing material. And we're going to deliver workshops with the parents and the adolescents in the area. Ashley admits that the major challenges faced by the organization is funding and support from the state. She says there is often a misconception that feminism is geared only towards women and through Feminine TT, she intends to raise awareness and encourage inclusivity for both men and women while advocating for gender justice and creating a safe space for persons from all walks of life. Giving voice to Generation Next, I am Keisha Marie Charles.